Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about how to throw the custom exception. So if you want to learn this feature, so you can watch this video until end. And don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn this feature. Okay, and please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my site. So let's get started. So first, so this is my channel here you can see Salesforce ad. So every weekend you will be see new features as well as new video. In between randomly I can you know upload the shorts as well. So now you can subscribe the channel. Once you subscribe the channel just don't forget it to the you know click on this all icon because once you subscribe it and make it like that so you will not be get like lots of notification whenever I upload the new videos on that on that day or you know on, on the channel so always make sure you have to click on this all one so once you click this all one now you can see so here you can see this all so if anything is uploaded or if anything is happening in my channel let's say any blog post or any shorts video or any long video uploaded anywhere that you want so you will be get notified using this you know options so please make sure you have to enable these options and please check this all one like that okay first of all let me tell you what is throw statement in apex so a throw statement is used to generate an exception or to the signal that an exception occurred and uh, in this exception you can show your custom message so there are so many things to handle the exception using try catch and finally blow but in this video we will see how we can handle that message custom message using our custom throw exceptions class okay so let me create one class so i'm using window let me press ctrl shift p and create the apex class name it can be anything for now i'm using like a account CLS something like that you can use anything so this is my class okay and this is a public class let me remove this with the sharing this is a public class under this class we have this constructor so let me remove this constructor here okay so now let me create another inner class let's say public class okay let's say invalid invalid account exception extend from exception so please observe this is the very more important that is exception this is the class we already inherit into our you know custom class so anything you want to inherit from parent to child so you have to use extend right and now and uh, please note this is the class name here invalid account after that you have to append the ex exception that's why you can see the extend exception this is the rule in apex so you have to follow it after that you can create the method okay let's say this one public static void valid account and under this one i want to send as a parameter that is a string a string let's say acc name right and uh, i need to check something here before that let me check like if okay if acc name acc name equal to equal to null and acc name okay acc name equal to equal to empty equal to equal to empty and uh, now you can see this one right this is an invalid exception coming from this class right and under here you can pass like account name is required for example purpose right and after that you can make like else else block under the else you can write your code let's say system debug i want to use system.debug under here you can write like account name is valid something like that okay and also if you want to print the acc name you can print it using this concatenate okay so this is the one way uh, to check these all exceptions using this one but 
I will tell you how to handle it once we pass something like wrong so it will throw the error so let me deploy this class and once you deploy this class then you have to test this class okay so now my class successfully deployed now let me check this class is working or not go to the anonymous window under here you have to use like uh, this class name so let's say this class name here this is the class name dot our method name so our method name is valid account paste it here under this valid account you have to pass like uh, account name for testing purpose I'm passing like empty okay let me execute this one okay so select this is string control C P and execute Apex currently selected this one so immediately you can see the error like account invalid exception account name is required okay this is coming from our custom class we already set up this one or in the you know uh, this execution also you will be see this error now you can see account name is required something like that okay now now one thing I will tell you here okay so let's say I want to handle it without throwing this exception right so you can handle it before this one let me tell you how we can use this one so under here we have to use like try block under this try block right here this is the code let me remove it everything under the try you can see this uh, you know this one uh, let me check the you know what is the error will we come from the apex so let me add like system system debug here and let's say we can add the message here let's say account name is valid this is the some static name because uh, invalid so here you can see the account name is invalid coming from the you know, system and here you have to use the main class that is exception ex so we have to check which type of exception we are getting and what is the you know error so let me save this one and this time we have to check how we can you know use this uh, class without our custom class so okay this is the ex so let me copy it make it ex okay it's a double e ex yes so let me save this class and once you save this class you have to deploy your class now successfully deployed now this time we have to check it so same thing you have to select it execute this one and under here in the output now you can see account name invalid this exception right because it's a empty something like that suppose uh, we are throwing some error and how to handle it right that's why our custom class will be come into the picture because we don't know what type of error we have right so it's showing only the account name is invalid but how we can see this is the static one so let me remove it and here we have to use our throw new this is the way to throw the exception using throw new and instance of this you know uh, class and pass the you know string of this class after that after that you can use here right you can use here because this is the exception one this is the top class before that you can also use another catch because we can use multiple catch don't worry okay like catch catch here we have to use our you know custom class we, because it's inherit from the exception and we can show the message right this is the message here so instead of you know instead of printing directly message inside this if block you can use you know custom exception class and you can pass that message into the custom exception class and handle into the catch block so let me save this one once you save this now let's see what what will be the output okay so just let me select this one again you have to execute this class here once you execute it here right so let's see the output now you can see exception account name invalid and there is a two you know output one is line number 8 and 13 so let's see line number 8 this throw keyword okay class is the throw keyword and uh, 
uh, after that you can see the 13 one 13 we have system diva so there is two output because of uh, we are using the custom uh, class for throwing the message right and here you can see account is invalid exception and message you can see this account is invalid because of you know our custom one and here you can see this one so it is coming from account cls dot invalid exception okay and then your message here so throwing exception but uh, this is the exception throwing you can see and after that user debug so this is the main debug here you can see exception account name invalid so this is how you can handle you know this exception uh, handling uh, techniques also you can check your custom error message using this invalid exception extend from exception class it can be anything this name it can be anything in your case i'm using like that so you can use any name as you want and also let me pass the correct name so in this time we have to check what will be the output let's say rohit okay now let me select this one execute now let's see the output and output here you can see account name is valid rohit no exception here you can see right but let me tell you one thing after that valid and i need one space after the valid right so just let me deploy this one and once you deploy it and please note uh, this point guys because this is the very more important things whenever you try to use your custom exception class right before and uh, you know like uh, this kind of exception we are handling so you can use inside the catch or throwing the error in between try and catch right but the last one this is the parent exception class so you can use this one in the last not uh, in the top and then after that your catch so it will be throwing the error so let's say i want to cut this and i want to print here please this is the very more important or you know interview question so suppose you already mentioned your exception top class uh, before our custom class exceptions so let me shape this now this time you will be get an error definitely so let me deploy it now you can see exception type is already caught this this so that's why so it will be in the last of the uh, all the catch blocks right so if you have like multiple catch block so this exception class will be in the last order in between you can add your custom or your any exception as you have like uh, dml exception as sql exception so you can handle in between but last one should be or must be exception ex catch exception ex okay let me change the order yeah so let me save this one and once you save this one now you have to do one thing we already give one space let me execute again and let's see the output so now here you can see the output like account name is valid rohit here you can see right so you can handle this type of error so suppose exception suppose client wants like some custom message not like a standard message so you can create your own custom exception class and pass that message in your custom class and throw the you know uh, exception using throw new keyword and handle it into the try catch block and finally you can use also the finally but in my case i'm not using finally because finally always execute if your code have error or don't have any error so it will always execute again and again okay so this block here you can see try catch and finally if you want to use finally you can use it otherwise leave it as this for now let me tell you uh, the uh, final finally okay finally here system dot debug it will always execute because of this is always execute if your code have error or don't have error let's see so right now i i'm just passing like uh, rohit this is the valid you know so it will becomes here like a uh, else part and is um, displaying this account name is valid and then your account name after that finally block execute so let me execute this code and let's see for your knowledge purpose that's why i'm showing this one that is finally so now you can see account name is rohit and finally block is execute so it always execute please note that finally block 
always execute if your code have error or don't have error okay so now this time i want to give like empty or null something like that just save this and now let me execute this code and once you execute immediately you can see the same thing uh, finally block always executed and exception account name is invalid here you can see okay so this is how you can handle your custom exception using throw keyword in apex so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates until then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys